couldn't think of a better place, a better place to announce this at IAPA. So, all the friends and family, welcome to Antarctica. All right, so I am here at the Oceaneering booth here at IAPA, and SeaWorld Orlando has unveiled their ride vehicle for their brand new Antarctica Empire of the Penguin attraction coming in spring 2013 to SeaWorld Orlando. This vehicle is really, really, I love the sleek design here. It's very comfortable to sit in. This is going to take you through the world of the penguins on one of the coldest rides on planet Earth. And the, uh, the ride tech here is a motion motion-based trackless ride system, first of its kind in the world. And it seats eight people very comfortably. It looks like there's some um, maybe speakers or maybe stuff to blow cold air out. This, and from what I hear, you can choose your own adventure, kind of like your own intensity, your own ride track. It's trackless, so the possibilities are pretty much endless. And I cannot wait to ride this ride in spring. All right, so I'm here with Mike Bowes. He is the Vice President of Zoological Operations for SeaWorld Orlando. How are you today? Good morning, Banks. Well, thank you for coming out today. <laughs> One of our friends likes the yellow microphone. <laughs> now, who is this? Now, this is a Magellanic Penguin, a very distinguished animal ambassador we have at our SeaWorld Park. Um, now, in our new exhibit, we're going to have four different species of penguins. We're going to have kings, gentoos, adelis, and rockhoppers. So our Magellanics really are the opportunity to go out and show folks what, what kind of animals we have at our park. Uh, I'll hold it so close here. Yeah, we'll hold it back a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Antarctica Empire of the Penguins is just going to be a terrific uh, exhibit and attraction for our SeaWorld Park. We just unveiled the ride element today. It's a non-linear, non-tracked, family-friendly ride that takes guests on the adventures of a penguin living in Antarctica. And um, with the new habitat, how close are the uh, guests are going to be able to get to the penguins here? Banks, it's just going to be terrific. Uh, our guests, as soon as they're done with the ride, they're going to be immersed right in with the penguins. It's going to be probably the coldest attraction you're ever going to see outside of Antarctica itself. He's checking out the ride vehicle. I think it gives the penguin seal of approval, right? This is exactly like how the penguins move, correct? No? No? <laughs> All right, so I'm here with Brian Morrow, the creative director of SeaWorld Parks and Resorts. How are you today? I am very well. Welcome, Banks. Oh, thank you. This, I love this vehicle. It's very comfy. You are one of the first hundred people to sit in the world's first motion-based simulator trackless ride system. And this is, you know, like I said, the world's first of, uh, of this type of ride system, right? It is the world's first. And it was, you know, we didn't start developing the ride based on that information. We developed a ride experience that we wanted to be highly unpredictable, our guests to be able to make some choices along the way and what they wanted to do, and also allows our guests to move inside of Antarctica and not be bound by ride rails and tracks and high walls on vehicles. Notice how low the vehicle profile is. That is specific to allow our guests even our shortest of guests to ride side by side with their family unit and experience Antarctica together. And then that's one thing that I'm, I'm wondering about is you say there's a choice. They can choose their type of adventure they want to go on. How do they make that choice? And like, there's eight people in here, so what if some people want something else? And well, these, these eight people have made their choice together. Okay. Um, and so we make that choice in the queue. And that choice relates primarily to intensity level of ride experience. Um, so that's, and that really has a lot to do with personal choice of what I, you know, how do I want to feel during the ride, but also some of it's uh, ride height restriction and some of it is like um, ride abilities, etc. So it's really a personal choice what you want to do, but even if my family chooses to do intense and what we'll call the non-intense ride, that's not the real words, but we'll just use those for today, um, they'll still ride and experience Antarctica together. They may be in different vehicles, but they'll be doing it together. And can you are you able to talk about what, what's some of the stuff that they'll experience inside the ride? What, what's the vehicle going to do? Well, this vehicle is a powerhouse. Um, we, you know, it can do a lot of things, and it's actually showing us that it can do more than we thought it could do. Um, it allows us to have movements and ride dynamics that I've never felt before at any theme park attraction. Um, our journey is alongside and with a very special penguin and his family. Uh, we'll talk about him later, not today. Uh, but we'll take that journey with him, and we see the world of Antarctica as only he sees it through his eyes. And sometimes, it's recognizable to us and sometimes it will be brand new to our guests because this world as he sees it is not how we humans see it and so we'll go on this adventure with him and we'll be all over the place with him and this ride vehicle enables us to tell that story without the restrictions of ride paths and emergency evacuation routes and all the awful things we typically have to deal with those are all gone 
uh, we made a like kind of like this barrierless free, re unrestricted ride experience for guests. First of its kind on the planet. Uh, of course, it's all has to do with Antarctica. How cold is this going to be? Well, our ride will uh, eventually our ride will allow our guests to walk amongst the world's largest colony of penguins outside of the continent of Antarctica. And our penguins live in temperatures between 30 and 32 degrees. So people are going to want to bring their coats when they ride this ride. Um, now, what all? Can you talk about what what all outside of the ride? What's this whole area going to have? Yeah, let's. Yeah, the ride's really great, and it's huge, and it's a, it's an amazing attraction. But more importantly, Antarctica, Empire of the Penguin, is SeaWorld's largest expansion in our history. It is a full realm located in the center of our park. Um, once guests walk into that realm, they are completely surrounded by the ice of Antarctica, full scale. Uh, we just topped out our rock work on the outside and we reinvented what ice rock work even looks like. Uh -huh. Brand new materials, brand new things happening there that guests have never seen before. Um, and so that we, have a, we have a full realm, we have a ride experience, we have an enormous penguin habitat, and we also have other things that guests can experience inside. We have culinary and retail experiences and some other things we haven't talked about quite yet. Right, yeah, but all will be revealed in spring 2013. Open spring 2013. Can't wait, Brian. Thank you so Thanks, much. Thanks.